Hi folks, Ben Prepper here with a early Saturday morning Safe Act and Gun News update. I got a lot of stuff, oddly, for uh, for what came out in the last couple of days. Uh, New York Assemblyman Mark Butler uh, has repeated his call. He, he's one of the good guys here in the state. Has repeated his call for the repeal of the Safe Act. He is uh, really standing. You know, we have quite a few people. It doesn't. You wouldn't think so because the Safe Act is in place, but we do have quite a few good assemblymen. Uh, the New York State Senate is garbage, but we, we do have quite a few good assemblymen who uh, are standing with uh, standing up for our constitutional rights and calling for the repeal of the SAFE Act on a regular basis. And Mark Butler is one of those guys. So thumbs up to Mark Butler. Uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo uh, showing that uh, the Democratic Party, the progressive side of the Democratic Party especially, is a beacon of tolerance to the rest of, of the world, um, said that extreme conservatives do not belong in New York. Uh, and he classifies extreme conservatives as anyone who is um, pro-life, who is against uh, gay marriage, who opposes gay marriage, and, and or opposes the SAFE Act. So uh, apparently to Governor Cuomo, that probably covers, if you added up people in each one of those groups, you probably got a pretty hefty chunk of uh, people in the state and around the country. So congratulations, Governor Cuomo. You are quite tolerant. It's not really surprising that he would say something like that, because back in 1985, his father, Mario Cuomo, who, for those of you not from New York, maybe don't know, Mario Cuomo was uh, the governor of New York for quite, quite some time. Uh, and he said in 1985 that any the, the people that opposed New York's seatbelt law, which back then was one of the first in the nation, were NRA hunters, beer drinkers, um, who, oh, how did he say it? Let me, I wrote this down because it was funny. Um, they were NRA hunters who drink beer, don't vote, and lie to their wives about where they've been all weekend. So uh, clearly the Cuomo family is uber tolerant of the NRA and, uh, um, you know, very well informed about, uh, you know, what they don't look down their noses at all at us um, who are not, you know, the elites like the Cuomo's. So anyway, that's what it is. Andrew Cuomo is a moron, a magnificent fool. And apparently ultra conservatives must make up a huge uh, portion of this state because his approval rating has dropped 25 points since he instituted the SAFE Act a year ago. And if you look around nationally, he is nowhere to be found. In the, He thought that, that the SAFE Act was going to launch him into this uh, run for uh, the presidency. And he is so far, uh, I, I think he's behind Joe Biden, for goodness sakes. I mean, I could probably announce I was running in the Democratic Party and compete with Joe Biden. That guy's such a clown. But uh, anyway, Governor Cuomo, I, you suck. Just so everybody knows, Governor Cuomo sucks. Uh, the CEO of Ruger said uh, that he is being, he wanted to clarify because uh, there are some people saying that he's abandoning California, and he wanted to, to clarify that. He said he's being forced out. He doesn't, he is fighting for every inch of California, their company is, but uh, they're being forced out by California's gun laws which we, we see that in New York right now. What New York is, uh, you know, they are such, a, um, they have such animosity towards gun firearms related businesses that it's pretty clear that, that, you know, they're trying to force them out. And he said, especially he cited the micro stamping law that is just so, uh, you know, so ill conceived and so, uh, you know, such a burden on um, companies and individuals so uh, the CEO of Ruger wanted to make, Strom Ruger wanted to make sure, or Sturm Ruger, excuse me, wanted to make sure that uh, the people of California knew that they're, they're fighting to stay in that state. They're just being forced out by the politicians. Uh, and finally, Harvey Weinstein, all around Hollywood producer and scumbag, uh, who is a huge Obama supporter and routinely makes uh, movies that are really just hit pieces against political opponents uh, is uh, has announced that uh, Meryl Streep will be starring in a film he is going to make that will be attacking 
and it's going to be a movie attacking the NRA. And he said that the NRA were going to wish they were never born or something to that effect. You know what, Harvey? If I had to sit through one of your movies, I would probably wish I was never born, too. Uh, thanks a lot for proving that um, Hollywood movies are total crap. And uh, really, nobody should pay any attention to them because they are just biased pieces of garbage uh, packaged like a movie that are really just there to um, mold and form our political views. Harvey, you're right there with Governor Cuomo. You suck, buddy. So that's my uh, safe act and gun news for this morning. Forgive me kind of stammering through this. It is very early and Van Prepper is very tired. So. Uh, you guys have an awesome day, and I'm Van Prepper. Happy shooting, guys.